Good God, what a difference a month makes. Down here in the former paradise, now the jungle of South Austin, Texas. Haven't been down here in a month. Hope the little dog doesn't get eaten by a coyote eight feet in front of me. Man, is it a gorgeous day. Here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas. No, these are not marijuana plants. Uh, me nice. Come on, little dog. You say, Papa cannot get food through all this. My little dog wants me to carry him. Come on, Sancho. <laughs> Sancho, he goes, Pop, what do you expect me to do? Come on. What are you doing? Is it Pop? I don't know how to walk through here. What do you expect me to do? I'm all completely lost in the jungle. I am a little city dog. But you... <laughs> Good God almighty. I'm gonna get my little dog out of the, out of the jungle. All right, little dog, press on. Press on. Oh man, taking a break from Packing up the gas sucking truck. Good Lord, can you see these? Well, you can't see these. This cloud of these white flies being absolutely infested by these damn white flies this year. I don't know. I, <coughs> I've been blaming this shit out of my garden on uh, thought of that, that I got hit by frost. I'm getting the sick feeling I am infested by white flies. All right, let's see what the latest big rain brought there. Okay, guys, we're now, look at this, we, we are now in a, a one, well, in an 18 inch by 18 inch uh, piece of ground. We have three single use plastic bottles, three single-use plastic bottles and a potato chip bag saying please recycle yep here's some South Austin recycling and then two feet away we have another bottle oh Jesus guys you know I'm, uh, so we're heading out to this, you know, folk festival out in the woods to play music with all my clueless, lovable American, uh, American, listen to me. It, yeah, my clueless, lovable American friends. And the, the rule is, if you want to get into the actual festival ground, into the seating, that... To keep people from bringing illegal alcohol, the only thing you are allowed to bring is one of these factory sealed uh, plastic bottles. This is, this is a folk festival out in the woods uh, requiring you, the only thing you're allowed to bring is a little plastic one use bottle. Good God Almighty. Okay, here's the newest. This was from that rain we had about three weeks ago. Look at this, guys. All right. In an area about four by four feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't even count them. The single use bottles. Styrofoam, how many pieces of styrofoam? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten pieces of styrofoam. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is this is one creek in a green belt in environmentally correct South Austin, Texas, after one after one big rain. My God, we are 
completely, totally fucked. Jesus Christ. Look at this, guys. All right, we got that. This five-gallon bucket is still sealed. I don't even want to know what kind of planet-eating shit is in there. Here's a water bottle. Hasn't even, never been opened. Factory sealed Kirkland, that's uh, Costco. Never been opened. And it's already in the trash. I am looking, I'm, I'm looking at hundreds of plastic bottles and styrofoam. But you will notice this is now about three years after the plastic bag ban in Austin, Texas. That you do not see one of those single-use white plastic bags because they don't exist. So imagine, it used to be that the white plastic bags would dominate the garbage after every flood down here in the green belt. And so you wouldn't even see the plastic bottles and the styrofoam. And so now Austin made those things illegal. And so all you get instead are the plastic bottles and the styrofoam. So if we would just simply make plastic bottles and styrofoam, then you would have none of this shit. 99% of the uh, of the garbage would disappear. Oops, a plastic bag did get through. And here's another. So there's two plastic bags, two years or three years or four years after the ban. Still those plastic bags getting through. Uh, I would say in the past, I've walked about 100 feet. And my guess is I have passed in the last 100 feet in a green belt in South Austin, Texas, easily 200 plastic bottles and at least that many individual pieces of styrofoam. Uh, and of course, here's the second can of spray paint. Oh, man. We are, we, we are just completely hopelessly fucked. Uh, what other insults to the planet? Hey, you know, this is me taking a break from loading up my gas-sucking truck with all this planet-eating shit coming down here to the green belt. All right, it looks like they've actually cleaned this area up. Don't believe it. So some good Samaritans. I can see where they've just been through here. Probably this morning. Some good Samaritan has actually been down here cleaning up the green belt. I don't believe it. Uh, and then of course, I'm sure they just took all those plastic bottles off to the, uh, off to the damn landfill. Somebody did some work, man. I mean, they got every one of these bottles and pieces of styrofoam down here. That must have been a fucking 18-wheeler. All right. So we can all pretend like it's somebody else's problem. One good Samaritan. They were thorough. I mean, you can see where they... We're walking all through here. Oh, there's uh, actually truck tracks down, and they actually probably brought a uh, they brought a city vehicle down here to the green belt. Probably filled up a fucking garbage truck, but they did a good job. And the next time it rains, we will have another city garbage truck full of plastic bottles and styrofoam. Let's go check out the new graffiti. See what the graffiti artists are up to under the First Street Bridge. We have any? 
Okay, Sleepy, Sleepy Z is back again. Sleepy Z's, he's working it. Oops, we got a new one. This is, I have no idea what that says over Sleepy Z's. See, they, they actually keep lights on under the bridge so they can light so the graffiti artists can work all night long. So this shit, this stuff, this stuff that people are just throwing out of their car when they're coming over the bridge. Alright. Yes, little dog. Another fine day in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas. I've got to, uh... Alright, little dog, we got to turn it around because i got to get back to work. Get my gas sucking truck, and I'm gonna have to go buy some of those goddamn little. Uh, I need to buy some lighter fluid, some uh, good old fossil fuels, so I can cook my food. So I'm getting lighter fluid, so I can start the charcoal. And the other thing I'm getting are those little Coleman stove uh, propane gas bu bubbles so I can make the food, my food that doesn't, that we're not gonna grill. So uh, I have to make another fucking trip to Target or somewhere for uh, two kinds of fossil fuels so I can eat. Little blue bonnet's about bloomed out. Anyway. I got to go get in my gas sucking truck to drive to Target to buy some lighter fluid and propane. I hope this is not a dead body down here. It's not really uncommon to find dead bodies. What the fuck is it? Nope. Not a dead body. They, they found some guy right back here in the woods last year who had been gnawed like the, the coyotes had eaten one of his legs. These friends of mine walking their dog stumbled up upon a, a homeless corpse with his leg eaten by coyotes. Yes, you gotta love living in the middle of the beautiful people in South Austin, Texas. Alright. Alright, little girl, wrap it up. Bye guys.